Hello all and welcome to Osborne View. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install any Windows font on Ubuntu, any version. No download whatsoever is required. Here on this LibreOffice document you see I have this one is Times New Roma and this one is um, Cooper Black. Cooper Black and this is Excalibur SF and this is Ancestry SF this is French Script MT and this is Patchment these fonts here are all Windows fonts they are all Windows fonts and they are proprietary to Windows the reason they don't come on Ubuntu is because they are proprietary to Windows and Mac computers also have their own proprietary Mac fonts Okay, and um, if you have a dual boot computer with Ubuntu installed on one partition of volume and Windows installed on another partition of volume, this is how you install the Windows fonts. I'll minimize this. And here I have this volume that says 200 and gig 203 gigabytes of volume, and I have this file system. This file system is where my Ubuntu is installed and this 203 gigabytes volume is where my Windows operating system is installed. It's actually two partitions in there though, but Ubuntu sees it as one big volume. And you can also see it here on my Unity launcher. So to mount this, the first thing you have to do is mount this volume and mounting it is, sim is as simple as clicking on it and then it opens up okay and it's successfully mounted all right we have a mounted volume and you see here it's showing 203 gigabytes volume so this is where my windows operating system is installed one good thing about ubuntu is that you can assess the windows uh, partition of volume right from ubuntu but you cannot do you do it the other way around. You cannot access Ubuntu uh, file system or partition from Windows. It just don't recognize it. I mean, Windows don't just recognize it. So here, you have a, a whole bunch of folders and files here. We are not concerned on about every other folder here. All we're concerned about is Windows folder. And for yours, make sure you don't move any folder, you don't delete any folder. Just come to this Windows folder, double click it, and then locate the fonts folder okay double click it also it says loading okay it comes up with uh, some files there you don't have to worry about any other thing that has dot f o n or whatever all you have to be concerned about are files that end with dot t t f these are all fonts that windows uses so you're not deleting anything you're not moving anything all you have to do is look for a font that you want we can take this allos i.ttf okay so right click on it or you can just copy copy and paste on your desktop i could have done it from within here but i just don't want to do it that way so right now it's on my desktop Hallows si hallow si dot ttf. So I want to view this font. Right click and click on open with font viewer. So simple. Open with font viewer, and there you have it. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. So here you have two buttons: info and installed. I want to install this, and all I have to do is click install. Again, the font name, note the font name, Allo Solid Italic. Click on install and then you say it changes to installed. So it has been successfully installed and that is all you need to install a font, a Windows font or any font, whatever font you get from anywhere. And then close it. And here, this uh, I want to first of all close this LibreOffice so that it can uh, locate that font all right i now open the libre office again and i just want to type something word processing 
is fun. Okay. Put an exclamation mark. Word processing is fun. I want to increase this font to say, let's say, 18 or maybe a little bit bigger, 24. And then here is where all the fonts are. Again, that was Allo's something. So let's look at Allo's something. I mean, okay, Allo's solid italic. So here you have it. It's already been installed. Okay, so I want to highlight this and change it to that Hallows Solid Italic. There you have it. Windows font has just been installed on your Ubuntu. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, you can do this with any of those fonts. You can pick any font that you want and simply do it the same way that we're using the same process. It is that easy. No download required. And remember one thing, Windows fonts are proprietary to Windows, so don't distribute this. Use it for your own computer, for your own good. Thank you for watching, and if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you.